Hello, people. I know it's kind of late. That's why the lighting in here sucks. But anyway, I wanted to show you something. I've been trying to do this for I don't even know how long. Um, I'd have to like Google the YouTube video that I heard this guy talk about years and years and years ago, and he said it. Um, his name was Fred Cal. He's a sword swallower. He was in a video where something about he mentioned that somebody once said that I don't know who I don't remember. All I know is Fred Cal said it in the video was uh, somebody said that the perfect sword swallowing trick would be to swallow a cherry and then swallow a skewer and pull out the cherry on the skewer. Now, um, there is a story uh, that a friend of mine told me about his father who swallowed a sword when he wasn't really wanting to um, after eating cherry pie and said that he didn't have enough time because his food hadn't digested yet, he didn't want to swallow the sword. But anyway, he obliged and he pulled the sword out and there was a uh, cherry residue all over it and several people thought it was blood, but it wasn't, it was just cherry residue and that actually got written up in a newspaper article, uh, that story, so pretty neat. Um, so yeah, um, my friend's name is Kurt Liebart, by the way, and his father was, uh, I can't remember his name for the life of me right now, but blah. Anyway, we're going to try to see if we can do that. Here's a cherry. Eh. Ah, cherry is gone. And here is a sword. Or a skewer. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Now, <sighs> wow, cherry got stuck in my esophagus. Anyway, thanks for watching. Mm. Yeah, I love cherries. Now, I couldn't have done that if it was a strawberry. I'm allergic to strawberries. That would have killed me.